the FTC has charged Herbalife with deceiving hundreds of thousands of hopeful people who saw Herbalife's promotional campaigns in English and in Spanish and signed on for, they, for what they thought was a legitimate and lucrative business opportunity selling Herbalife nutritional and personal care products. Hello, everyone. Hey, we've got great news. We've reached an agreement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission that ensures that our mission to improve people's lives will continue to thrive. We've entered into what I believe is a very um, strong settlement that provides meaningful, robust relief for the consumers who were most affected and lost the most money um, due to Herbalife's practices, and we're imposing very strong structural relief that we believe will make a very significant difference going forward and will ensure that Herbalife operates as a legitimate multi-level marketing company. The terms of the settlement do not change Herbalife's business model as a direct selling company and set new standards for the direct selling and multi-level marketing industry. The settlement also requires Herbalife to revamp its multi-level distributor compensation plan so that for the first time, the company must track retail sales to customers, pay rewards to its distributors based on those sales, and collect retail receipt information to ensure that those sales are real. In a nutshell, the new procedures build upon a customer-focused foundation that we've already established. This will change the current system's incentives that reward distributors primarily for recruiting a downline of people who will buy product at wholesale without regard to retail demand. I have to tell you, this is really good news, and it comes at a time when our business is growing bigger and better than ever before. The order will prohibit deceptive marketing, marketing tactics, such as the promises of a lavish lifestyle and untold rich, riches, and the false implication that typical participants are likely to earn career-level incomes. There are two basic items to the settlement. First, members will be categorized as either preferred members or distributors. Most people sign up with us because they love our products and they just want to buy their favorite Herbalife products at a discount. The vast majority of Herbalife distributors found they could make little or no money selling Herbalife products. Second, Distributors will qualify and be compensated based upon retail sales and will provide receipts for their transactions. The company's own survey results show that the majority of people who invested the most to build a, re a real retail business, people who leased space to open a nutrition club and worked long hours, made no money or lost money. Throughout the negotiations, we've been working closely with several Founders Circle and Chairman's Club members to best ensure that the terms of the settlement will work for you. They've given us great counsel and advice, and we're confident that we are well positioned for the future. The small minority of Herbalife distributors who did make a lot of money were paid by Herbalife not for selling the company's products, but for buying the products themselves and then successfully recruiting large networks of others to do the same. Our products, our service, and the opportunities we create all make us extremely proud of what we do and how we do it. The company promised people a dream, a chance to change their lives, quit their jobs, and gain financial freedom. We are a company and a community that really makes a difference in people's lives, and it's an honor to lead Team Herbalife. Let's rededicate ourselves to our mission of making people healthier and providing them with a unique business opportunity that meets their ultimate goals. Did you review the language in their press release that sort of affirmatively said that they were not declared to be a pyramid scheme? Because they're sort of touting that as an outright thing. I, I do not agree with that statement. The, the word a pyramid does not appear in our complaint. That is true. But um, again, the, the core facts that, we are con uh, that we've alleged and that we consider to be problematic with their compensation structure are set forth in detail in our complaint. And again, I will leave to um, readers to draw their own conclusions, but, I, but they were not determined not to have been a pyramid. That, is, that would be inaccurate. Okay, so you don't endorse their, their, their statement in the press? I do not endorse that statement, no. Okay. 